So the door latch was finished yesterday. Uh, this will all have more done to it here. This is not the final product as far as looks go, but function, everything's working right. Let's see here. Bolt there. And you push it shut. We haven't got it completely sealed yet, but it does close nice and tight and we can adjust it for once we put the seal on and everything. You got two locks. This one will lock the actual handle itself so the handle won't move. This one will operate that bolt that I showed you just a second ago. Opens and closes real nice and smooth. The way the door is currently held rigid is just by a piece of flat bar at the bottom. There will eventually be a whole support going all the way up the middle because if I shake it you can sometimes hear it rattling and we don't want that. So that closes. Oh, Definitely going to have to come up with some service interval for the belt because you don't want that thing to ever break. There's how much slack is going to be on the. <coughs> Okay, do it again. Alright, release. Alright, I'm going to spin it up and then have you do it. Okay? Do it again. Okay. Alright. Start it. Yep. I'm going to stand out of the way in case. I want nobody in front of this thing. Yep. Building the Corsair 300. Uh, 300 fan clutch, new belt water pump, new alternator bracket, new hose brackets, new Corsair <laughs> floppy doppy here. Um, running about 1280 horsepower, did a little tweaking on the VE pump, put a high performance upper radiator hose and a low performance lower radiator hose, <laughs> and I think we're about ready to hit the road. I ain't lying. Oh, I forgot about the high performance fan clutch bolt. <laughs> so, again, we're running about 1,380 horsepower. And uh, I think we'll get like, I'm estimating about 230 miles a gallon. And what are you fixing to do? I'm fixing to give a tack so I don't over rev it because it's made to run about 28,000 RPMs. And uh, I kind of want to keep it right there in the sweet spot. So, let me get done with me. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. <laughs> 1,523 and a half horsepower. We downloaded it this morning by putting the RPM gauge on there. High performance ISS Pro. 1,680 horsepower induction magnet.
going down. Your side is supposed to go on the passenger side.
smaller of the two, I guess, that are in here. Yeah, okay. Good bunch of air in this one. Punching at the back, that pissed me off. <laughs> Seven sixteen. Well, that's a that's a crock of shit. What happened? That's about half this tube down. They ain't giving me nothing yet. Huh? They sold, they sold me a bunch of air. Look how much I pushed that in so far. Huh? Here, come show on the video. All right, let's see if the. Oh, I'm using this stuff right here. Can you see that? I poked in the end. I cut the end. And if you look right down in there, I done pushed that thing almost six inches in. And I ain't got the first drop out of that tube yet. I think they got me. See if the next one's like that. But I think they got me. Okay, so we had to make a run to Lowe's because the glue we got was no good. So one thing we found out is this might actually be a quality product, but it has a shelf life of 18 months, which is apparently less than a year if it's in a crappy environment. <laughs>